Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the new spawn sets. So, in the last update, uh, 3.14.16, um, Nelson mentioned, you can actually see it right here, that he completely overhauled the spawn system. Now, initially, that seems kind of, you know, intimidating, but, um... I'm just going to be doing this video to help you guys know how to use the new spawn system and also not use it because he made it available that you don't actually have to use the new spawn system which is fantastic because it's pretty complicated so um, in order to show you guys how it works I'm going to be using the test military map which I've used for numerous tutorials and we're going to be using this setup here we're mainly going to be focusing on what is happening in the spawns with animal items zombies and vehicles so pretty much over here we've got, uh, let's look in the vehicle spawns, we've got one car uh, s table, it just spawns a white hatchback. We also have a couple zombie tables, uh, normal zombie which is over here, zombie cobra, and zombie index which we haven't placed yet. We also have a couple item sets that we can place, um, zombie blank, z cobra magazine, cobra, and index tester. In terms of animals, we have just uh, this deer table, which spawns deer. So, in all of these menus where you can add all these tables and stuff, there is one thing that has changed in all of them. And now there is a spawn ID uh, button right here with a number that you can type in. Uh, that shows up in all of them. In items, zombies, zombies you have to scroll, or you got to create one first. And it'll be loot index, loot ID and then also in vehicles and pretty much what this is used for is you can put in a number there besides zero zero will just make uh, it disregard the spawn ID but if you put a number in there it will use a predefined um, car set or animal set or item set or zombie set and so this is a little complicated but I will show you guys how to use that if you want of course if you don't want to use the new spawn set make sure that this is at zero now it gets a little complicated when you get into zombies because they've got loot ID and loot index and those both do different things so we'll get into that but to start off um, let's go over the items first we've got zombie blank and pretty much what this is is it's just a blank index and this allows us to have to spawn zombies that don't actually drop anything when you kill them now cobra magazine over here that's the lighter blue one this drops cobra magazines this one just drops cobras and index texture, which is this pink one, we are ha it doesn't drop anything yet, but we'll be testing the new indexes with that. In terms of zombie spawns, all we have is zombie, zombie cobra, and zombie index, and pretty much zombie zero. Um, it doesn't drop anything, and we can tell that because both of these are zero. Now, if uh, one of these was changed, it would they would drop something, and we'll test this here in a second. Uh, zombie cobra it drops cobras and that's because the loot index is 2 now this corresponds to the item number 2 so this list number 2 which drops cobras matches up with the zombies so those zombies will drop the cobras now the zombie index will also be testing uh, the loot index and the loot ID so this is going to be using loot ID number 3 and pretty much loot ID number 3 is a random index out there um, I'll show you in the end how to figure out what these indexes actually contain and it's kind of complicated so let's go into the world uh, I'll save it really quick just in case I made any changes and let's uh, test that everything works I'll just show you guys uh, the average stuff works and this is using all the old style uh, tables so we've got our Cobras here we've got our ammo here we have uh, deer over here we've got our cars and we got the two types of zombies. The cobra zombies have pants. I just did that so you could distinguish between them. And so I'll just kill them really quick here. Let's and show you guys that they do actually drop those cobras. Now these ones over here, I'm going to guide them a little farther away. These should not drop anything because uh, I set them up to have zeros in both the loot index and the loot table. gosh dang it die okay so as you guys can see uh, through this trail of where they died there's nothing new dropped so pretty much this just shows that uh, we can use the old table system so these cobras here were based on the item table of this over here 
So before we get into uh, what's happening in the map editor, let's just uh, go to the workshop. And one of the new things here is this spawn tables button. Uh, Nelson's slowly been adding things, and this is the newest addition. So pretty much when you click on this, uh, it brings you into this sort of list view. And you can type numbers here and press view, and it'll show you stuff. So this is the way to figure out what is in those new indexes. So 0, by default, is nothing. And this allows you to use the old legacy, I guess he calls it. So let's it, take a look at those uh, once again. Table and I'll dig a little so deeper. So if we type into 1, though, how we'll start to get into themselves. the new uh, spawn table. So if we press view now, we can see that it has loaded a spawn table here. And so it gets a little uh, complicated because we have this roots and then the tables. And so pretty much root, um, this has to do with modding. It just tells you generally what uh, this table is about. <laughs> and the table itself will show you all the specific tables that are inside it so inside this table it also shows you the percents that uh, they spawn at so over here we've got desert falcon timberwolf grizzly all these different things that can be spawned out of this number one table if we go to number two we'll start finding other tables so exa for example we've got uh, a fish table so the root is fish and there's two fish tables salmon and trout and they each have a 50 percent chance of spawning and pretty much this is the only way you can figure out what these new tables actually do so when we search for three here this is when it gets a little complicated because we have uh, tables table number three which is Washington arena arena guns military and this is actually using another table this is using the arena guns military table as you can see the number four here is a little different than the three over here so if we actually click on this it'll bring us to the table number four so as you can see up here it automatically changed that we are now in table number four so pretty much inside of table number four it gets even more complicated because table number four uses uh... there's multiple routes for it uh... it uses alpha valley arena guns military as well as pi arena guns military and washington arena guns military that was the one here that um, that uses it and then also inside of it, it takes it based off of Arena Guns Military Common and Arena Guns Military Rare. And we can click on each of these and figure out you know, which tables use them up here and what's in them down here. So what's in them down here, we've got Peacemaker, Sabertooth, Viper, Eagle Fire, Maple Strike, Heartbreaker. Those are all inside of that table. There is only one um, other table that uses this, and that's Arena Guns Military. So you can sort of switch back and forth between tables. I know it's super complicated, but um, really what you mainly need to know is that you type a number up here, press view, and you'll see what table corresponds to that. And if you want to use that table, remember this number, and I'll show you how to use that. Another thing that you can do is click on this. It changes between items, vehicles, animals, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You've got to do the zombies all yourself. So what starts to happen when you start using... Uh, these normal numbers in other uh, items that you don't necessarily want so for animals you've got number one well this actually makes it really weird because we've started getting these ID numbers that aren't actually animals so somewhere out there there should be tables that are made exactly for animals but pretty much I mean we start getting these weird things where 236 isn't actually an animal so it starts coming up with errors so I'm not sure exactly if the animal tables are not set up yet but they're they're not working for sure so um, I would mainly stick to items because those are the ones that are going to work for vehicles you're going to run into some of the same problems so only one of these number four actually is an actual item the rest are thousands and they're way too large for vehicle IDs another thing to note is that uh, tables one through one thousand are reserved so if you're a modder out there wanting to create your own default table you're gonna have to use 1000 uh, and one and above so before we get back into the editor um, let's just quickly look back again at table number two I liked it a lot it was pretty simple this was the fish table and all it has in it is salmon and trout so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remember that number two we're gonna go back into the editor and we're gonna apply that to some of the items we have so we've got this index tester item and so far this doesn't actually drop anything so what we can do to make it drop those fish is put the number two that corresponds to that table 
right in the spawn ID. And as everything should work properly, once we go and play this map, we should have uh, a pile of fish right over here. So as you guys can see, this definitely worked. And we have, you know, raw salmon and raw trout. Okay, so now let's uh, assume we want to use one of these preset uh, item spawns on some zombies. So I'm going to be using uh, zombies index. And this is just going to be uh, these gold zombies. They'll be wearing hoodies. And yeah, we'll just place a bunch of those out there. I got rid of the other zombie spawns just for clarity so that we're only messing with these ones. So remember back to the fish global item spawn. So that was using number two. So if we want to apply that and make those zombies drop only those fish, what we have to do is we have to put the number two in the loot ID. Now, the loot index, we don't want to put it there because that will make it try to use the cobras. And it'll make it try to drop the cobras. So that's pretty much the difference. Uh, loot ID uses the globalized spawn lists. The loot index uses the ones you set up inside of the editor here so let's test this out okay so here we have our zombies and I'll just kill a few and just you know prove to you guys that this did work and that they are dropping fish okay so um, now that they're dead we see that they've dropped you know a couple here and there kinda rare but you know they still drop the fish so um, one other thing I might do is I might try this again. Um, I will do this instead of fish. I will look up another uh, spawn table here. Let's look up, uh, let's say, 100 and just see what that's made out of. Let's see. So it should be made out of uh, civilian ammo. And let us put that in place of the fish. And let's just test it out with that instead. So going quickly over that again, all we need to do is change the loot ID number to 100, which is the one we just looked up. Let's resave it and quickly test this again. So once again, here's the zombies and let's just kill them and we will be expecting to see some civilian ammo dropping. And it does. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Um, it's it's a little complicated, but uh, you just have to, you know, sort of figure out which spawn table you want. The nice thing is that you don't have to use this system because, you know, it doesn't really work very well yet because you can't exactly find what uh, those spawn tables contain in a very easy way. But anyway, guys, hopefully you learned everything you need to know to either avoid these or use these yourself. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it or learned something, and please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later. Yeah. <laughs>